Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. That will help my channel tremendously. If you're watching this video, you are at home or wherever you are watching this video, trying to learn how to say, how to program this this uh, this voltmeter, and you haven't subscribed to my channel. Remember, you help my channel by you subscribing. Okay. So I have plenty, ten, plenty more videos to come. So, so one of the subscribers asked me to show to show a video how you set this thing together. So I'm asking you guys while you're watching this video to subscribe. Setting up is this thing is kind of pain on the butt a little, but it's easy. So I'm going to show you guys the process. Now the first thing I'm going to do, first of all, this is how you turn it off. How you turn it back on. Okay, this little button on this side, you turn it off, the screen comes off, but it's still on. As long as this thing is plugged, it's still on. Remember, if you plug this thing to the battery, to the system, it will still keep going. Okay, this only turn off the light, but this thing's still on. All right, this button only turn off the light. One click, it turn it off. One click, it's turning back on. Okay, now, what kind of body set I have? This uh, the, my battery system is 48 volt because of 48 volt, there's a maximum charge I can put in the battery. So, the maximum charge I can put uh, this human sugar regulator is 57.8. Right now, there's nothing charging. You see the amperage, amperage is about one. Every time you see the amperage is one, there's nothing charging. The reason there's nothing charging because I preset my regulator, my make sky blue regulator. To run to start at 58 volt okay now if you look at those batteries it's a lithium iron battery this is lithium iron you got six 14 of them times 4.2 i'll give you for 58 to 60 volt okay if you want don't max the battery to the maximum you keep it at 50 but you can go over 60. same thing with those guys those are a1 which is lifo lifo cell I keep them at 57.8, as you can tell. 57.8 of my regulator. I believe my BMS, this is Bluetooth, Bluetooth BMS, is at 58 also, 57%. That's pre-programmed. Now this thing here, you can program it also, okay? So the way you're gonna do, now you're gonna change the voltage. Now it's kind of pain in the ass, you know? So what you're gonna do, you're gonna hold this button, hold it, you're gonna hold this button, until the things set set. Let's try to hold it. Okay, now you see what it says? It says set. Take my finger off this thing, there we go. It said set, oh, it come back again. This is gonna, after a couple of seconds, I'm gonna go back to the normal screen. Let's do this again, guys. Hold it. Okay, now you gotta hold it again. Oh, it went off. Let me try to do one more time, guys. It's a pain in the ass, though. Hold it. Okay. And then you gotta hold it again. Oh, boy. Let's try one more time, guys. I'm gonna hold the button. It's a little bit pain in the ass to get it right. Okay. It's blanking. Now you try to hold it. Okay. Now we get the screen we're looking for. You gotta, when you start blanking, you're gonna try to hold it until you get the screen. Now the, the number, they see the blinking thing gonna go by itself. Remember, it's four digit. When you get to zero, okay, you get zero. Now this thing says zero, you let it move. Okay, we're gonna bring this thing to 58. Okay, this is the zero one. Now you're gonna go to the next one. You just put adding up the numbers. You're gonna bring this into 58, okay? This is at 58, I went too fast. Let me go back again. Okay, 54, 55, 56, 57. Ay, ay, ay. Tell you, it's a pain in the butt. Okay, we have 58. Now it's gonna go to five. We already got five, we're looking for 58. Let it sit there. Now it's gonna give you another zero again because it's four digit. Now you go start all over again. If you start all over again, guys, I believe you gotta hold this thing Okay, now I give it a, now what you're gonna set there, you're gonna set the lower voltage. 
Uh, let me tell you how I got it. This battery can go up to, I believe if you do the numbers, uh, this thing can go up to three. Uh, uh, this this battery can go to three. This is can go to two and a half. If you multiply, divide, I, I believe it's, and then your inverter can go somewhere around for a 40 volt. I believe the lowest inverter I've ever seen is 39. Okay, on a 58 volt system. Remember, I have a 58 volt system, guys. I have two hundred that's running. This guy is a small one. This can go, I think this thing, the lowest it goes is 40. So let's keep it this thing 40. So now you got it. Now it's at it's at 4. It's gonna keep doing some his own thing. Now you go back to 0.4, we're gonna change it to zero. Okay, sorry guys. All right, I'm on four. I'm gonna add numbers to it. When I get to zero, I let it sit there. Okay, it moves. Now you're gonna move to the next one if I do nothing. You go to the six. I want this thing to be zero. Okay, I'm got zero. So I got one. Let's go back again and do it. See, I'm pressing this number, guys. It's a little bit pain in there, but doing it. I got zero. Now I need four. I already got four. So he's gonna skip the four. I don't press nothing. Now he give me another zero because it's four G's. They're gonna give four numbers to change. Now everything is done. I got 40. Okay, now I'm gonna try to hold this button to do, to let the screen go on. I hold it. Keep holding it. Now the screen is gone. Okay, guys. This is how you set the voltage. Now I have a maximum voltage, and that's gonna display that little bar you saw there, gonna display it. I got the maximum voltage a minimum voltage so once you got that that's the first step to set up and if you set that thing up usually when it come brand new when this thing come brand new those numbers they they zero out from the beginning if you unplug this machine completely to the thing this will zero out and then this is the capacity it will zero out this is uh the number of the time you've been running it will zero out okay last time i did this i clear i cleared the power i need to know how much voltage i have here i don't know if you guys were seeing this thing properly i hope you guys were seeing it properly because i'm holding this thing it's cold in new york now how can i preset these things okay and i'm going to show you hold this thing again okay so now you see it said the top now I go to the second one now amperage this is supposed to be 300 amp okay we're gonna make the amp because the, the reason we talk about amperage because the, the currency going to the the current that going to the the maximum current that can go to the to the shunt I have the shunt back there guys that's my shunt and my shunt is 300 amp let's preset the amperage on the shunt that will give you the best reading there. Let's see what we can do. This is how to set up the shunt, guys. Okay, we don't want that. We go to the next one. Now we got the shunt. You got to hold it. Okay, now it says 100. You got to bring it. It said 50. We got to click it again to 200. I believe mine is 300 shunt. I got 300 shunt. You rather make sure you have 300 shunt. It has, you have to make sure it's 300 shunt that you have. I believe mine is 300 because I bought 300. Now let's hold it. You get that in there. Okay. You see the reading is much better now. It's showing me 100 amp. I mean 1 amp. You have the right shunt in there. Okay. Now let's go back and preset something. The way you set it, guys, you're going to hold this button. Okay. Now we don't need the voltage. We don't we don't need the shots. Now we need to clear the, the, the thing there. You gotta hold it. It's gonna clear it. See this thing cleared, guys. It cleared, it goes to the next screen. Now the amperage, the capacity. Okay. If you let's say for example you're doing capacity tests. If you're doing capacity tests, let's say for example, I need to know. Because I have breakers on them, I have breakers on them. Let's say, for example, I switch the bottom part, the bottom breaker on. I turn off all those guys. I want to run all those batteries back there on the lower on the lower level. 
if I want to run all those batteries, I want to know what's the capacity on those batteries and how long it take, how long it take to deplete it. I can go in here, okay? I can see what is out, and see what that out, and see what that out. It tells me how long this thing been running. This will tell me the time, how long it takes to deplete all the capacity of the battery until the no, it will not this, 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 deplete the capacity of the battery. It will not deplete the battery. It will deplete up to the inverter. Okay. So if I go see what is out, I'm gonna do it again, guys. We don't need that. We don't need that. We don't need that. Now we have to see what the capacity. So hold it. Okay, he does the same thing. Now you're going to hold it again. We're going to zero the timeout. Okay? Okay, you don't need that was already zero out. That was zero out already. Now you need to zero the time and hold it again. There we go. So the setup is not that difficult. Okay, you zero everything out. And this is what you have. Right now I'm burning 74 amps, 74 watts. Okay? Now if I want to do a capacity test, and I'll probably do that. I'll probably do it. I'll probably show you what this thing read on the capacity test. And I have an ID on this battery, what they are. I'll probably do another video, guys, for the capacity test with that volt meter. Because I did it on this, guys. I did it on this guy. What I did, I preset, I reset everything. I may have a video on that already set up. I needed to know. I thought this thing was 6 kilowatt. When I ran it through this, it gave me 7 kilowatt. After this thing depleted. The way I did it, I turn off this thing, I turn off the regulator. There's a way to do that. See, this is the regulator. Yeah, I have Bluetooth, so I just went and turn it off. Okay, I turn it off right there. And then it doesn't produce no power anymore. Right now it's on, you know, so even I'm not charging, it's still on. So... I'm able, I'm able to do it that way, guys. And now, I never programmed this because I never had to, never needed to, until a, few, a bunch of people asked me to do that. So I said, okay, let me go ahead and do this for you guys. And it's not that difficult to set up. Let me, let me review this with you guys. Basically, you hold this button. This is turn off, turn on. When you hold it for a while, the screen will change. It will give you setup. Okay, and then you press, you hold the setup, and then it give you to the next screen. It give you four digits. You're gonna go to the numbers. Okay, once you reach to the number that you want, then you stop, and you're gonna go to the next number automatically. You do the same thing for lower voltage. You need a maximum voltage and a lower voltage. Okay, and and then you get out of the screen. You come back again. Hold this button again to do the same thing for the for, for the volts so or the amperage. For the amperage for the for the for the for the unit, this thing come with a shunt. If the shunt says 300 on on the shunt itself, you change it to 300. If it says 100 or 50 amp or 200 amp, you put the 200 amp in there. These are the two things you gotta do. Those are two main things you gotta do. The other stuff is if if you're looking to see the capacity, how much power do you have on those battery. You can do, you can do, you can try to run the house or to run something on the battery that tells you what's until you deplete the battery. This will give you the capacity. Okay. It give you the amp hour. The amp hour will give you the energy. It'll give you everything. It'll give you how long it takes to do that. Um, yes, it does. It's a separate unit. It can tell you what your, what your battery is all about. Okay. Until then, guys, don't forget to subscribe. Do have the channel.